Now you will see the primitives, how to make the primitives in Aviva E3D. Once you open the software here, this is the design, design explorer. This is the properties. This properties can be controlled from home property. So if you press F2, it will disclose. Again, if you press F2, it will not appear. Now properties we can close here. Now, if you want to change the models, different models here, equipment, piping, GSC, cabling, capability structures. So many models are here. So first we need to create the primitive. So we need to enter into the equipment model. After entering into the equipment model, accordingly the main one box will load. Now we have to create the primitives. For creating primitives, directly we cannot create the primitives. For that, we need to create some hierarchies. Unless otherwise creating the hierarchies, we cannot create the primitives. First, click the model world, then go to the equipment, general. Here, in the general tab, first you have to create the site. So, site is nothing but your area name or project name, whichever you want, you, you can give. So, I am going to give this site name like an area code 1000. Okay. Now, after that, I am going to create a zone. Click the zone here. So, in this zone, whichever is zone you want to create, the zone name you need to create. In this zone, I am going to do this AKB. We need to create equipment. In the equipment tab, create a equipment tab. So this is the equipment form we will open here. Directly you can pick the dimension where you want to keep in the equipment. You can pick the position by using this one. This is the graphicals. If this is the elements, this one is the graphics. So if you have the structurals or platforms, straight away you can create to that particular location. So as of now we don't have the, any platforms and all those things. So straight away 0, 0, 0 is our origin position point. So we are going to click the, here we have to give the equipment name. For example, 1000 space vessel. This is 100. This is the vessel name. Position is 100, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then click OK. That's it. This equipment positioning is now 0, 0, 0. Next, you want to, first you have to select the plane. This is the horizontal plane. This is the vertical north, south, vertical east, west. So I want to make the horizontal vessel or horizontal cylinder. You have to click this one north south measure. So once if you click this north south, if you click the cylinder, accordingly it will so accordingly it will parallel to the north south plane it will assign. So now you see this one, diameter it is asking. We can manually enter, otherwise we can click this one. Then we can click the height, cylinder height. So you have to click the cylinder height. So this is the plane we have to select first. So now I am going to select the plane, horizontal plane I am going to select first. First we are going to see the all the primitives, how to we have to give. Now, first creating the primitive box, click this one, specify the first corner, if you know the location then click this straight away the point or else 
you can press 0 comma 0 comma 0 that's it enter 0 comma 0 comma now automatically it will lock the point now I am clicking this one now it is asking the we need to sorry we need to give two points first point and second point so first point each time going to give the first specify the first corner specify the opposite corner we have to give the opposite corner so opposite corner i am going to give east direction 5000 west direction 3000 so east direction 3000 West direction 2000. I am giving comma. Upward direction is a 0 only. So I am pressing the comma. Now the question will be locked. So after locked, I have to click that question. Now we have to click the east portion, upper portion. Now you see. This is our box now. We have to give the height of the box. So this is the box height. We have to give the and giving 5000. That's it. So this is the box creation of the next cylinder. So as I told you, the box is cylinder. First we have to give the base point. Then we have to give the diameter of the cylinder. Height of the cylinder 5000. That's it. <coughs> Next, so likewise, each and every day it will ask the position and the diameter. So accordingly, we can do the all the cells. So I am doing the one by one just to watch it. This point, diameter, the height. So specify the diameter of top diameter. If you don't want the top diameter, press enter 0. If you want to give the top diameter, click approximate diameter. This is the snout. Snout is nothing but slightly eccentric from the concentric. Concentric, this is called the concentric cone. This is called the eccentric cone. That's it, the different. So what is the offset we need to give? From the particular portion, we have to give the vertical dimension as well as when we click this upward, we will see this one. This is the 0, 0 portion. So now this is the Q means horizontal horizontal portion, B means vertical portion. We have to give the dimension accordingly. So if you click this one, that's it. So slightly we have eccentric this portion, so we cannot see the much difference between. Concentric cone and eccentric cone, there is no much difference. Now we have to give the priming.
epsilon y lm height then again epsilon again y lm then specify the point so in this pyramid also we can uh, sharp edge pyramid we can do in addition to that top diameter also we can change it accordingly this is called a dish head take the base point diameter and height so this is called a dish head then this is extrusion extrusion we have to accordingly plan we have to create so now i have selected the uh, horizontal plane so i needs to change this direction to the downwards then only we can give the profile properly we can see the profile now i have to create this one First, I have created the extrusion surface first. Straight away, pick the dimension. Here. Second one, third one, fourth one. Now, enter. After entering, we have to change this one so we can see the tone. Extrusion height we have to follow. It. Then we have to pick the extrusion height. So this way, we have to create the extrusion. Next, circular torus primitive. This is like a cycle tube. This is asking the origin point, start point, end point, sorry, angle. Then we have to click the diameter of the tube. Yeah, that's it. Next, rectangular. Just click this one. Start point, angle, form width, height. That's yeah. it. So this is the rectangular torus. Next one is sloped cylinder. So it is asking the base point of the center, diameter, and the height. Then, you have to click this one, which portion you want to rotation. So you see this one rotation, which portion you want to rotate, you want to rotate this one, that's it. Then click the finish, enter. So this is the slow first enter. Next one is the revolution. Revolution is the same as extrusion. So I need to change the weave down. Then I need to create the profile now. So manually you can give the profile. First of all, second point.
actions we have to create. How many angles, how much angles we have to give, we have to select the angle now. Click this one. That's it. So this is the revolve. So if you select the different, uh, if you select the different north south, then click the north south and then see the west direction. And then now you start the another direction revolve. Now I'm clicking this one. First one, second one, third one, fourth one. Now enter. Now go to this. Uh, North is to be, then we can see this one, how much angle you want to do, you can make this one. You see this one difference between this and this one. This is opposite to this one. This is opposite to this river. So these all are the primitives we need to create by using this one. If you want to individually some primitive you want to modify, then double click this one. Double click that one. So the particular uh, primitives will be selected with the pink color. So if you want to move, you can move there. If you want to extend this direct dimension, you can extend this one. Once you select it, it will be looking like a transparency. 